Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Joaquin Nupesa Buckley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. You ready to fight? You ready? Didn't take Stephen Thompson long to surface on the UFC radar. Knockout of the night in his UFC debut against Dan Stigen at UFC 143 back in 2012. And has been near perfect since. That right hand landed. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume time. Jab, right hand. Body shot, I mean, kick. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. That is a damaging kick that lands. Well, right, good to see Steven Wonderboy Thompson back on the proven ground tonight and popping off that jab right out of the shoe. It's his best weapon. I mean, it dictates everything for Steven Wonderboy Thompson because it tells him. When he gets a read and he gets the range on the jab, he starts to throw his kicks. He's a phenomenal fighter, and he has a puzzle that not many people have been able to solve. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. Use your combos now. Use your combos. Another straight left. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. One more can be hurt. We've seen him hurt on a number of occasions. With Whitley, with Till, we've seen guys hurt him. They just gotta try to trap him to get their hands on him. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. We cross the midpoint in round one. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Fighter connects there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Oh, nice, nice hook. 90 seconds to go in the round. Lead left by Thompson. Oh, big head kick there. Unable to connect there. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. 
Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. And right now, it's starting to show. Oh, near-perfect execution on that kick there from Steven Wonderboy Thompson. What an outstanding striker, and he is certainly managing distance well here tonight. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. And look at the post on the outside side to give himself the correct space to land these beautiful knees. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, Stephen Wonderful Thompson lands. Beautiful to watch him just measure that shot and land it with such ease. He really shows you the repetitions he has as a lifelong strike. Oh, the hook lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He's looking for that left hand, just missed. Tremendous head kick lands for this guy. Just misses with the right. Lands a quick jab. Oh, nice straight punch there by Thompson. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Watch land. Well, he blocks the shot there. Thompson's swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Useful hook there. Just over three minutes to go. It's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Landed a big kick there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Two minutes to go. Wonderboy gets tagged by that stiff jab. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Oh, he 
he missed with that right hand. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Wonder Boy looks big, he looks strong, physically ready to fight. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not gonna help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Final seconds here of round two. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. Third round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both sides have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Thompson's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. Unable to land with that punch. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Thompson's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Three minutes to go in round three. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. You either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision, or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Heavy on the cut, heavy on the cut. Straight punch is good. And everything's landing with so much power. Nice jab by Thompson. 
Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. We passed the midway point of the third and final round. Snapped off the jab nicely there. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Effective punch there by Wonderboy Thompson. Fourth we go, it takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Well, the Cut Men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, man. Both of them. Both inflicting damage on each other. And both are dealing with it and trying to continue in this fight. This is a great fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Fifteen seconds. Thompson's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Joaquin Numeza Barclay. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of